in my line of work, I like to get close up in person. Time for me to go to work. I'm not the pickpocket you need to be worried about. The pickpocket you need to be worried about is that guy sat over there by the computer. Because as soon as you've walked in, you all revealed everything to him without realising. When he goes to work, it's always personal. Okay, so what we've been doing today is uh, setting up a sting, which we we were using it to, to get people to log into the Wi-Fi to get the details. Um, but you can do a lot without doing that. So it's all about making it a plausible scenario. So the social engineering aspect is making people do something which seems normal, but in actual fact isn't. So when you were logging into the Wi-Fi, you you, were, you weren't actually logging into the social network. You were logging into our machine. So we then get a copy of your username and password. Public Wi-Fi, you need to be careful with logging on because as soon as you're on a public Wi-Fi, you have to realise that, that whoever controls that router controls the connection. So okay. you may not be visiting the site you're thinking you're visiting. Uh, How do you mean? So anything which isn't secure, they can redirect to a server of their choice. Or they could just intercept it, inject content into it, change content at will. I can't believe you got my password. <laughs> if you visited a major shopping site, we could redirect you to the insecure version of it and then stop you logging into the secure part and capture those credentials as well. Um, and then we would be able to use all of your saved credit card details on that account to make purchases. <laughs> That's quite scary. And so we can build up quite a big picture right. quite quickly of what you're doing online. Oh, wow, finally. Wow. That's unbelievable. And that's all online? It's all online. So whereas I have to go and be physical, you don't have to be there. No, and more importantly, the person who loses it doesn't necessarily know they've lost it. Be very careful about what you keep on your phone. Don't keep your entire life on your phone. Don't necessarily leave things logged in. Um, make sure that, imagine if you lost your phone, what would be the damage? Um, so what can we do to protect ourselves? You need to do the standard things of having good virus protection on your machine. Every single OS has virus. This um, is just terrifying. There is now malware specifically targeted at phones to do exactly what was happening on, on laptops and desktops. So let's say I had an email from a certain online transactional company uh, so I've reached my limit. If I click that open, are they in? They could be, yeah. So there's so much of your information out there that it's easy to target your email address. So it could just be so personal. Yes, it will be. And they get personal. Successful attacks now will be personal. They will be tailored to you. They will look at your social media accounts to see what you're doing, and they will tailor the attack. Wow. Amazing. It's always personal. Don't be a target for an online criminal visit getsafeonline.org.